I am unbelievably surprised at the outcome of game four between the Toronto Maple Leafs and the Tampa Bay Lightning. Leafs win in overtime and I'm sure many people feel this way from seeing what happened, but it is like, it's, it's a loss of words. You're kind of like, what? That is such a seemingly impossible comeback with 10 minutes left against arguably one of the best goalies we've seen in the last five years and one of the best teams overall within the past five years in the Tampa Bay Lightning. Let's pull it back a little bit. Last night, I watched the first period of the Lightning and the Leafs. I had to go to bed and unfortunately, I didn't get to catch the second period as well as the third. And what ended up happening was Tampa Bay was leading four to one with 10 minutes left. Austin Matthews scores two goals in under three minutes, and then Morgan Riley ends up tying the game 4-4, pushing it to overtime, where Kerfoot tipped in a goal to win in overtime on the power play. And I was surprised. I, I pulled out my phone like I typically do in the mornings, and I checked the hockey scores from the night before, and I was like, wow, unbelievable. You, As a Bruins fan, I love the Leafs as much as the Leafs love Bruins fans, okay? Not very much, not very much at all. I did, if you if you look back at some of my videos, I have talked about how I think the Leafs can really pull it off this year as far as beating Tampa, but seeing them perform game one and seeing how close this series has been, of course, you have a little bit of doubt and I'm sure Leaf fans have had some doubt as well. This team looks a little bit different. We have not seen them rally like they have in this series at all, like consistently like this. That's two games in a row where they tied it and won in overtime. So you're looking at a Leafs team that's certainly a little bit different and I'm just thankful as a Bruins fan, you know, if we do end up meeting in the in the next round, which is likely going to be the case, I'm thankful that we have home ice against Toronto because their arena is unbelievable. But I'm also thankful that as far as the depth for the Bruins, we have a lot more depth in our third and fourth line compared to other teams. So I'm hoping that'll favor us as well as the goalie and so on. But you have to think that for the Leafs doing what they did, and how they've responded. Within the last 10 years, they've definitely let their fans down. Not in the regular season per se, but they've let their fans down in the postseason. Since 04, where they have not won a playoff series. In 2013, you know, I'm not gonna really dive into the fail of the Leafs, but if you're unfamiliar, in 2013, game seven, they were up 4-1 against Boston with about 13 minutes left. Boston tied it, won in overtime. In 2018, made it to game seven against Boston. Boston was actually up 3-1 in that series. So the Leafs won game five, game six, ended up losing in game seven. It's frustrating for the franchise, you gotta imagine. And then in the 2020 to 2021 season, they were up 3-1 against the Montreal Canadiens in the series. They were also up 3-1 in game seven and they ended up losing. So you gotta think, for the fans right now, if you're a real Leafs fan, like you've been a fan for a long time, you're ecstatic, like you're losing your mind excited. But at the same time, you know what could happen in sports. These unpredictable things could happen. They could, all Tampa Bay needs to do is win one game and then they go back to Tampa. You're gonna wanna play in Tampa for game six if Tampa wins game five. Go back to Tampa, that place is gonna be electric. These guys start getting momentum. These guys with experience start getting momentum. You're not gonna wanna do it, right? And the Leafs experienced that last year with Tampa. You know they don't wanna experience it this year. So let's just take a look a little bit of what they've said since their miraculous win against Tampa Bay in game four. Let's take a look at some of the things they've had to say because I think this is really important. Now, I do think a lot of this has to go with, you know, you're just saying what you have to say. You don't want to be disrespectful to the other team. You don't want to jinx yourself. Naturally, Sheldon Keefe basically just says, we're going to see a very important game coming up. I hope our guys take that and recognize that. Let's keep pushing here. The team that we beat here tonight, they are where they are because they rarely lose two in a row and obviously don't lose three in a row very often. Another interesting thing to note, the Tampa Bay Lightning in the history of all their playoffs have never blown a 4-1 lead in a hockey game. Leafs overcame that. Can the Leafs overcome? Can the Leafs beat the Tampa Bay Lightning four games in a row? Well, we're going to find out in their game five. We have Austin Matthews saying, the fourth one is obviously the toughest one. We know who we're up against and what they've accomplished, especially in the past couple of years. This one is to enjoy tonight. Then we have a couple days to recharge and rest and refocus because we know they're going to be ready to come at us. I mean, as a fan, as a Bruins fan, I don't think it matters who the Bruins play. I feel like they should you know, based off of their season, based off of how good the team is. It does not matter who they play, but for the Leafs, man alive, if they can get this win and we play them in the second round, Boston and Toronto in the second round, I am anxious already, okay? The nerves have already set in. Now, Boston still has to win their series, which they are up against Florida, three to one. Toronto has to win their series where they're up against Tampa, three to one, and then next week, they will probably begin the next series against each other. I don't even know what to say. All I have to say is, as a Bruins fan, if you hate the Leafs, you know, I don't love the Leafs. I've already said that. But if you hate the Leafs, you still have to just sit back and be like, 
goodness gracious. One of the best teams in the last three years. You've beaten them three times in a row, handled them in Toronto, beat them in Tampa Bay, game one, tying it and winning in overtime. And then even more historic and magical, you did the same thing in game four. It is something that is concerning, okay? If you're going to be playing the Leafs down the line, the Bruins got to be taking taking notes for sure to the fact that the Leafs can really push when it matters right now. We're seeing that. But more importantly, we'll see how they perform in Game 5 back in Toronto. I'll be honest, I feel like they're going to close out. I think that this is their moment. I said it from the beginning. I think they can beat Tampa this year and that they'll face Boston in the second round. And I think we're just going to be sitting there watching and enjoying a very close game against Tampa. But I think Toronto is going to come out on top. So Toronto, we'll see you in the next round.